if you're on the road and something sounds funny and you want to change a few parts on your cars for yourself, these are some tools that you're going to need to do those small minor repairs that you just want to get your hands underneath the hood, your hands on the suspension, to actually do a little hands-on for yourself. So, let's get into it. All the tools that's in this video are gonna be linked in the bottom. I did my best of putting everything together. So show your support, subscribe and like and share this video. And as I um, go throughout each individual tool, I want to make more tool videos like this. So uh, comment and let me know how I do. Ask me questions about what tools to use on each thing or each car or whatever you're trying to do. And I'll do my best to answer those comments and make videos according to those comments so this way you have an idea of what tool you're gonna need to work on each and do each individual job so like and share and comment and subscribe man subscribe let's go so let's start with the first one which is very common but there are different variations of it and I'm gonna go through three variations that they are so all right so here you got your regular wrenches and these are basic i would say you could get these they don't really get a lot done because of this angle that they have um this is for in case you're working on something that you're directly working on in front and of the engine or underneath and they could get into tight spaces but not very tight spaces because then you gotta worry about that angle of how much room you have to work with. So with these, you're not gonna really use these as much unless you have something that's directly in front of you. So get rid of these. All right, so now we have a combination wrench. Um, this one here is actually reversible. So basically, if you're actually working, you can actually switch the direction that you're ratcheting. And these are pretty good. You, can, I would say you can get these. These are pretty handy. They come in hand. And I would say if I'm actually working on a car, and the head is not that curved as you can see, so you can take this off. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> um. Anyways. You can see here, it's 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 on a curved angle. This is really good, so you can actually get into it, get in there, and it can actually work very easily. Um, it has that angle, so you can actually push on it, and you can actually get a little bit of a working in there, and it's pretty good. So you just go, if you go in one direction, and you're like, man, I gotta go the other way, but if I go the other way, I gotta flip it, and I don't have that angle. So with this one, it makes it easier where you just clip, and go that other direction that you need to go to so this is very handy if you were to go with this this would actually be good as well and let's get these out of here and with the big boys so these now these are the flexible heads now the flexible heads they are good right they are really good you can flex the heads you can do whatever you want to do with it it's the same principle the only thing with these is that they tend to wear out. So I wouldn't go with these if you want to go with a ratchet set because then, you know, it's more of a working to get these to work. So let's get rid of these. All right. This is the one you need to get. So if you were, and this is not a sponsored video, TEQ. So if you want to sponsor your boy, holla at me even though your brand is already here. It's not here anymore. But anyways, it's uh, for demonstration purposes. So this here, you have all the size that you need, metric and standard. And this set here, you could technically use it however you want. This one is actually straight edge. So you don't really have to worry about it. And these will last more longer due to the fact that they just have a little bit better way of actually anything that you're working on from suspension to engine to interior to exterior so yeah and moving on to the next set that you 
gonna need and <clears throat> we got a ratchet well wrench ratchet set socket set I don't know how you do this um, <laughs> so this is a socket set you this socket set is very handy you we can do many things with this. There is something wrong here. And if you notice, the label is upside right, but the number is upside down. If I turn it, boom. Numbers is, number is upside right, and secret's upside down. Um, this, don't mind that, but just to show you, whoa, no socket. We're back. <laughs> so to show you, this is um, a socket set that is very, very handy. And I'm not cutting out any of this out of the video. This is my hilariousness. <laughs> also, this, uh, this ratchet feels really good. Um, feels really good. And say for instance, you are working and you have to get down in there. Just go right here. Boom. And you go ahead and put your 14 on or 15 on, whichever type of part is, and you're pretty much good to go. Now, say for instance, you're working on a 10 bolt and it's all the way in the bottom and you can't get to it. And you just put this adapter on, boom. And then you go for the extension, boom. And get that little 10 bolt uh, right socket, boom. And if she comes saying that uh, you're too, too short, she's just too big. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, man, so here you go. So this is where you need, it does a lot. This is, um, what, 12 inches long? It's more than enough length. If she cries, if she still have a problem with that, Get to talk to another woman. Just saying. Um, yeah, so that's it for this. Um, pretty good. It's a good set. I'm gonna go with that. And let's move on to the next set. This set that I'm about to show you next is a little bit different. And it's like more of a universal set. It fits on anything. And it comes with an extra as well. So, get rid of this. Ah! Alright, this one here is a combination, well, combination, which means it has both, but it's a little bit different because you don't get the whole shebang, right? So this one is a specialty tool. So if you notice, he has a little splines on the inside here. It doesn't look like a regular um, socket or wrench or fitting. That's because this set here, it fits on anything. So from Torque, uh, in, uh, torque tips, Allen key, inverted Allen keys, basically anything that has a head on it, it fits on it. That's what she said. <laughs> so, there you go. So this is a good set to have, just in case if you're working on a universal car that actually has, uh, mainly German cars that actually have these funny, weird bolts and nuts, all right? Get rid of these and ah, boom! You need this. Every house needs this. And this is screwdrivers. You need screwdrivers. You. Even if you don't work on cars, even if you don't work on the house, even if you don't work on anything, this set is need to have all the time. Just go to the store and buy one of these. You can make it. So, let's go move on to the next one. Please, if you want to do a oil change and you want to see under your car, um, obviously, you're going to need a jack here, here. But with one of these at the house, you can do a lot with it. Um, I recommend anything from one ton to one and a half ton to start off with. And if you're going to go more advanced, then you go, you know, a bigger one. Now, the next tool you need to get under your car is a ramp. Oh, 
gosh. I thought it was gonna be coming down light, but it didn't. All right, so this is a ramp. Um, this is dirty. This is every house I've been in, I bought a set of ramps. Yes, I moved around a few bit because God, it's your boy, move around. But anyways, the um, ramps are very important to have just in case of any reasons. It's very handy when you're doing oil changes. It's very handy if you want to check on your car for oil leaks. It's very handy if you're doing work on the inside of the car, you don't have to be up and down underneath it. Ramps are ideal. If you notice in some of my videos, I have ramps and this is a ramp that you see me using. This is very handy. And if you wanted to, you just go like this, boom. And you got two. Spike, and it fits in any corner, just like so. I'm not gonna throw this away. I'm gonna put it right here. And it's tucked away. Look at that. It's easy. Alright. And I'm gonna show you a few more tools that's very needed. And they are. All right, we got the breaker bar. Ah, we got the adjustable pliers. This one here. Come on. There you go. This one here saved my butt a lot of times. This one goes and do everything. I use this for oil change, suspension work, tune-ups, Breaking stuff, breaking stuff. <laughs> I use this for everything. This thing you get a lot of use. So it's like $12 and it, it's got, you've got use, more use than this because it's only like one use, it's got multiple use. And then you got your half inch big boy ratchet, which is still in the thing. So I'm gonna take that out later. And you need one of these. These are pretty good uh, to use, go back and forth. And these are all manual tools. Now, the most important tool, the most important tool, right, to have is gonna actually save you a ton. This is a tire gauge. The tire gauge tells you how good your tires are. And let me roll a tip, roll my tire out here. Uh, I don't know if you can see me, but this is my tire, my wheel for my 240SX. And let me fix that up a little bit. There we go. I know, I'm like overbearing. Um, so this with this is my tire, it's my 17 by 10 uh, rim. We're on my Continentals. Uh, I forgot what these are. These are 245 by 40. Oh, 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 and I just broke it. <laughs> Whoops. As we were saying, <laughs> so with this here, to tell the thread on the tire, right? You basically you push it all the way through. And you're gonna go and put it down in each groove. Now, this is reading at a, I'm not gonna touch it, but that's right by yellow. And that's a six millimeter depth. And six millimeter is, is right there by the caution. But if I go in the middle, Middle of the tire is a reading four, but there's different variations which we can go over in other videos to explain why the tires were in like that. And then you go to the end, you have five, actually six millimeter again. You do know why the middle of the tire is actually less than the outside and to, to stay tuned in other videos for me to explain that because this is a stretch tire and due to cause this is a stretch tire you'll think that the outside will wear more but if, in the reality the middle is wearing more and that has to do with tire pressure so in another video 
on that the next one. So I hope you like my wheel. And that's it for now. Oh, I'm forgetting one more thing that you're gonna need. A jack. You put this underneath the car just in case if the jack was to fail, save your life. Or if you want to remove the wheel, um, move the jack from the car, you could use one of these and put it on the car. I would recommend anything over two tons. And after that, you're pretty much good. Timing tool has came in the mail. And that's great. And my sockets came in the mail. So I am good to go. Look at those shiny boys. And now, for the other set, I have this set came in the mail as well. And we're now good to go. We're to go ahead and work on the Audi. But I am still working on parts for the 240. And the moment those come in, then put those in, start with 240, get it out, and we're pretty much good to go. And so working on the next car. So I hope you enjoyed this video and all of what just happened. Um, I hope this helped and see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> um.